It's very seldom in life that you get opportunities to say things or dunk on somebody who literally dunked on you while you were playing. And I took the most of this opportunity and I put this picture up and said, say what? It went viral. Bananas. Everyone's laughing, talking about it. I think it's over. Oh, no, it's not over yet. A sports beef that's apparently been years in the making. Robert Griffin III and his former coach, Jay Gruden. As Jalen Hurts and the Eagles faltered, Gruden tweeted, If I ever put a quarterback through what Philly is putting Jalen through, I apologize. Pick up a blitz. After RG3's sarcasm, Gruden replies, You weren't prepared, Robert. And I came back and I dropped some truth. And the truth of the matter was, Jay Gruden told me while I was in Washington in my first year that he did not know how to game plan for me or call plays for a guy who could run and throw like I could. Jay had no comeback for that. For the record, Gruden wrote back, You are right. We didn't have a good enough staff. Sorry. Hope all is well with you. And the truth of the matter is, there was a moment in DC that is vividly remembered. Everyone talked about it because Jay Gruden went to a press conference and he undressed me at that press conference in a way that a coach should never undress his starting quarterback. One, he robs the starting quarterback of the ability to lead in the locker room. Two, he shows the entire locker room that he does not rock with that player. And three, it shows everyone in the National Football League that you do not want this guy to be your quarterback. A la Sean Payton with Russell Wilson. Onward after this video was posted. Gruden would tweet, you really want to play this game? It was after a game, and I said in the press conference that the best players in the NFL have the guys around them play at an extremely high level. No one is out there doing it on their own. Now, the the media pundits and everyone took that and said, RG3 threw his teammates under the bus. And I had to eat that for a long time because Jay didn't back me in the media the next day. He doubled down on it. Uh, and, and actually picked me apart in the media. But what people don't know is that the only reason I went to that press conference and said what I said to challenge my teammates through that press conference was because Jay Gruden asked me to do that. He said, I need you to challenge the guys to be better. And I need you to challenge them in a public way through a press conference. After Gruden's play that game line, RG3 replied, I'm not playing any games. I'm retired. You have a free invite to come on the show and discuss face to face. I know where all your bodies are buried, Jay. Don't play with me. What hurt me about that was the fact that after I did that in the press conference, not only did Jay Gruden not have my back, but he actually burned me with it. He came out the next day and burned me in the media. He came out the next day in a meeting in our team meeting room and burned me in front of my own teammates. So I stood up on the stage. I apologized to my teammates for even what I believed was taken out of context. I took accountability for what I said and apologized to my teammates in the front of that team meeting. Now, Jay, knowing that he had asked me to do that, and still went to the media and tore me down to the media. When I look and I hear Jay Gruden say things like what he said, not only is it unbelievable that he doesn't think that I don't know where all the bodies are buried. It's the fact that he has zero self-awareness and zero integrity. Because even though he asked me to do something, he didn't have the balls to have my back. And that was the reason that Jay Gruden wasn't successful in Washington. It had nothing to do with me. We won the division title and almost every person in the locker room hated each other because attitude reflects leaderships. It was a damning rant. But Gruden would then tweet and delete this. You weren't good enough. Kirk Cousins was better. Cleveland didn't want you. Baltimore didn't either. Quit blaming me. After removing that message, he would download and repost this video with the caption, Go race a pigeon. Of note, Griffin went 2-5 and five while starting seven games during his first year with Jay Gruden at the helm. Kirk Cousins also started five in 2014. Colt McCoy started the other four for a squad that finished 4-12. and 12. Griffin got injured in week two in 2014, caused him to miss six games. That might be why he was so upset when he saw Gruden's tweet about the Eagles not helping their quarterback. Also important to the story. If Griffin is correct that the coaching staff didn't know how to use him, or Jay Gruden felt some type of way about the staff. That's a shot at Rams coach Sean McVay, who has proven to be a very capable coach. He was Washington's OC in 2014. A rant RG3 likely hated. Was this from Gruden in 2013? 
when he went on the record saying, Robert had some fundamental flaws. His footwork below average. He took three step drops, excuse me, when he should have taken five. He took a one step drop when he should have taken three on a couple occasions, and that can happen. He stepped up when he didn't have to step up, and he stepped into pressure. He read the wrong side of the field a couple times. Mm. We rarely see this nowadays, right? We rarely see a head coach who will blatantly, explicitly go after not only a player on the team, but the team starting quarterback. It's always like, yeah, you know, got to watch the film. Could have done some things better. Could have done some things worse. It's not, one thing, whether you love or hate Rex Ryan, he would always say, put it on me. Always. Always. And look, the act grows tiresome. But one thing that you never do, especially in this day and age, is go after your own players because it's just going to be short-lived. But there is one thing that we found, and that was this. In a preseason game, when the Washington R-Words took on the Detroit Lions, kudos to the Lions. I feel like a lot of America is rooting for the Lions. Anyways, RG3 was in a meaningless, dumb pointless preseason game and he was getting pummeled by the Detroit Lions' front seven front four really he was getting crushed and Jay Gruden left him in RG3 would leave the game with a concussion we already knew of his injury history but got banged up and one anonymous head coach told Bleacher Report's Mike Freeman quote that Lions front, even without Ndamukong Sue, is pretty ferocious. This was Sue in his prime. As a coach, you see your guys getting beat, and you see your quarterback especially take that first shot. Every coach I know would have taken their quarterback out of the game. What is baffling is that I can't think of a single head coach in the NFL who would take an injury-prone quarterback, put him behind a very shaky offensive line in a preseason game, watch him take those kinds of hits, and leave him in the game. It looks personal to me. Yeah, this feel, feels like... Billy Martin having beef with a player on the Yankees, them getting torn up for eight runs, being like, stay in, get the outs. You're embarrassing your player. But look, I wait for Jay Gruden to respond. I find this to be very interesting. Along with when I reflect back, the potential that Robert Griffin III had. I know some people are like, oh, he's, he's so lame. He's so corny. Like, Your opinion, that's fine. I find this to be popcorn-worthy entertainment between player and coach because we don't get these insights often. It is quite rare that these revelations will see the light of day. Do I think Jay Gruden's going to go on this podcast? No, I don't. I think he is not going to respond. And the story will just die. That's what I think. For RG3, wise move. Wise move. Because it appears he's in the right. He sees the Jay Gruden tweet and is like, come on, dude, really? He has the receipts, per se, to back it up. And then gets a response out of Gruden and then goes to his YouTube show, his YouTube channel and a, a podcast on Wave Network which also hosts Bamani Jones' show, and makes a clip out of it. So it was a savvy move from RG3. We await Jake Gruden's response.